Let us see about psoriasis, another skin lesion today within 5 minutes. What is psoriasis? Psoriasis is a non-contagious skin disorder that appears inflamed edematous skin lesion covered with a silvery white scales. The etiology of psoriasis is usually unknown but immunological trigger is usually suspected. Recently autoimmune origin is also being associated with psoriasis. The genetic predisposition is associated with the genes DR7 and CW6 and other non-hereditary factors responsible include infection, Cobnus phenomenon, lithium chloroquine and beta blocker drugs, stress, smoking and alcohol. Stress. What happens in psoriasis? There is increased epithelial turnover rate. Normally 23 days is the normal epithelial turnover rate. But in psoriasis we have a turnover rate of 4 to 5 days. Two hypotheses usually suggest this pathogenesis of psoriasis. The first hypothesis suggests the cytokines released by lymphocytes and the Langerhans cells may be responsible for the hyperproliferation of the epithelium and the second hypothesis suggests that the epithelial cells themselves produce cytokines which promote proliferation of the epithelial cells. Let us move to the types of psoriasis. In broad, we have six types plaque, guttate, inverse, erythrodermic, generalized pustular, and localized pustular. The location of the plaque and guttate are similar limbs, trunk, and scalp, whereas limbs are predominant in plaque type and trunk is predominant in guttate type. In inverse, we have the skin folds involved, that is underarms, breasts, and such skin folds. In erythrodermic, we have entire body and in generalized pustular, we also have the entire body involved. In localized pustular, we have the hands and feet involved. Let us see about the clinical features of psoriasis in general. Initially, the first sign of psoriasis is often red spots on the body, dry, swollen or inflamed patches follow them and these patches are covered with silver white flakes. The skin is usually raised and thick. The other symptoms include pain, itching and burning sensation. Sometimes joint is involved, restricted joint motion or pain and arthritis are seen. Then regarding skin, we have cracked and bleeding skin on scalp we usually have dandruff then blisters that is pus filled blisters are seen and in male especially we see genital lesions regarding nail there is pitting and small depression on the surface of nail yellow and discolored nail can also be seen so what is that auspice auspice sign seen in psoriasis when the deep scales are removed tiny bleeding points are noted which is a characteristic of psoriasis known as auspice sign what are the oral manifestations of psoriasis? The psoriasis is usually rarely reported in oral cavity, but psoriasiform lesions which histologically resemble psoriasis are often seen. Example, benign migratory glossitis and Rater's syndrome. Rater's syndrome is usually a triad of asymmetrical arthritis, conjunctivitis, urethritis or diarrhea often associated with mucocutaneous disease and keratoderma. Let us see about the solid histopathological features to be known in psoriasis. We usually have club dretty pegs, tortuous capillaries in high dermal papilla, the reason for auspice sign, then parakeratosis and hyperkeratosis is also seen, then loss of stratum granulosum is seen. The another important feature here is Monroe's microabscess which is seen in the intraepithelial region. Moving on to the investigation of psoriasis, it is generally seen based on the appearance of the skin. There are no special blood tests or diagnostic procedure. The skin biopsy may usually reveal the histopathological features described. Then auspice sign is usually a most important clinical feature tried to be found out in psoriasis. So how do we manage psoriasis? To tell in short, we should avoid any precipitating or aggravating factor dis uh, discussed in the etiology. Then assessment is made of the lifestyle to avoid stress. Then the standard treatment modalities include topical therapy, intralesional therapy usually with retinoids, then systemic therapy that is usually with methotrexate or cyclosporin that is an immunomodulator, then photochemotherapy usually with UVA light, pure therapy. 
That's all guys about psoriasis in short. Hope you have been benefited from this video.